and this is the techno drive tm 345a so basically to change the seals you need to take off this nut i'll give you the size of it in a minute it's a uh, normal rotation so anti-clockwise off i use the buzz gun on this and then your flange will pull off you need to use a puller it's more than likely stuck on there and this then is your seal and you use a pick to prise that out okay guys parts have arrived there we go we got our two seals and then there's a seal for a rubber uh, o-ring for inside the inspection plate i haven't sussed out where this little one is for yet there is the part number um, and i'll put on the name of the company as well these came from italy because as of this year we have to pay tax for anything coming in from england so there you go and i'll put these into the gearbox now some of you may have uh, an oil filter like this one basically it's a butterfly nut which tightens in to the housing makes the rubber seal expand and keeps it in place so if you relax the butterfly nut you should be able to pull this out now i had to put a spanner in behind here and tap it out but there you go so you pull this out and there is your mesh filter which supposedly should be changed every couple of hundred hours but uh, that is it this is the um, engine side and the seal on the shaft you simply get a pick in around it pull it out make sure you clean all around the splines and all that before you put a fresh one in um, i've blown this out with the airline and this is the old seal this is the one that was leaking uh, you can get these in a set the pipes on mine were uh, fairly badly corroded so now is the time to do it while the box is out so it's quite easy to get pipes met up any hydraulic center or uh, a lot of good motor factors can do this anyway so we got new pipes met up apart from this part here as you can see it's kind of a double fitting going through two union two units two pipes so i may have to get one made up for that otherwise try peachment Right, this is ready now for the seals to go in. Tidy up the framework. She's got new uh, new pipes on there. And uh, that seal has to be replaced as well. So I shall show you when they're going in. So there you go. That's the... Uh, one on the engine side installed you just tap it in really it's a snug fit just be careful try and put it in evenly okay that's the one in from the propeller side or the flange side and that is a 45.60.8 if you're looking in your local seal shop, I'm sure it'd probably be quite easy to get. I just used this, which is the top of an old suspension, to get it to sit down flush. Tap that down. 
got a nice even fit on it. That's it. The next thing now is putting a new O-ring on this inspection cover. Okay, so that's the uh, inspection place. And uh, I put some of the sealer that came with this kit. And as you can see, it's expressed around the edges. But as soon as it's dried off, I can peel that off. Doesn't really bother me anyway. So, so that's it. You've got the two seals in there on both shafts. And then you've got the O-ring on there. Next thing we have now is the um, oil filter, which goes into this housing here. And if you're wondering what holds in the oil filter, this is it. That butterfly nut has a screw head bolt through it. And when you tighten that down, the rubber o-ring expands and holds this collar inside the housing. Can be extremely difficult to get out, or at least it was in my case. But uh, there you go. So now this goes back in here, like so, in there. Now when you're putting the flange back on, make sure you put it on evenly. So there we have it. The seals replaced on both sides. Pipes renewed. And Flange back in place. I will do another little 